How much progress did you make from uh, subbing for for sorry <laughs> Taylor in the in the first game to to your most recent? Um, I mean, you can see it for yourself. I mean, that's not. I don't really think about it that way. You know, I, I got to go out there and do a little more. Um, you know, this game, as long as you've been covering, I'm sure, 15, 20, 30 plus years possibly, you know, you got to get in the groove. I mean, the groove is everything out there. Um, and, and it was nice to feel that. But at the same time, you know, what I took from the first game is you got to be ready at the, at the drop of a dime. And it's like you can never lose sight of that. Because, I mean, I told a few people this week, like, I didn't want, I didn't want what took place in Arizona to take place in Buffalo. Like that, I, I know a lot of people, you're going to have your opinion, you're going to say what you want. But, I mean, I'm harder on myself than anybody. I can promise you that. So, yes, sir. How much pride do you take? I mean, you've played in the league for a long time. When you, when you are called on, the team needs you, you step in and do your job. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's huge, you know. Um, I go back to my, my rookie years and my first few years in Houston. Um, coach Devlin, Mike Devlin, my offensive line coach, you know, he told me a long time ago. He was like, Lamb, don't ever get caught up in being the glamour guy. He was like, you know, that might not be your role. That might not be your life. That might not be your journey. He was like, just appreciate what you do. And he said, you know, if you can go in there and do that for a long time, you can play in this league for a while. And, you know, for me, it's whether I come here and I want to start, whether I come here and I'm the sixth man, whether I come here and I'm the last lineman, you know, like I stated earlier, you got to be ready at the drop of a dime. So, yes, sir. What's it like when your friend or teammate gets – it off the yeah, it was scary, and bro. You're back in and, and yeah, play it was extremely scary. You know, I was watching the game the day before the the Seattle game, and, and to watch the the defensive end um, go down like that, you know, I was like, my God, you you just you feel for them, and then to see that in person, literally right in front of you with someone that you're in here with every day, you know, that that's that's. It's hard to put into words, you know. I'm I'm just hoping and praying for Taylor. I know he'll come back when he can. At the same time, but it, it's. For me, and to be, to be completely honest, like, you realize, yes, football is everything, but health is the first and foremost. Like, in that state and time, I was worried about him. And then once he got off the field, yeah, he, you know, it dawns on you, well, you got to, I mean, Buffalo's still Buffalo. They're still right there in front of you. So, yes, sir. You blocked for some really good backs, you know, uh, Chubb, Hunt. But now you got the block. I knew this one was and coming. And just feel them, just how it is. Is there really an impact, like a difference as the game wears on, you know, so, for you as, as you're blocking? So I got this question when I came here at first because, I mean, I was around Kareem and I was around Nick, and I love them both dearly. Like, do not misconstrue what I'm about to say at all. Like, those are my guys. But I will tell you, when I was on the sideline on that game and you can see that man at that size turn that speed on and do certain things, I mean, no, like, they can. you can ask my teammates on the sideline. I was, I was in awe. Wow, you know, because I mean, he's 6'4, 250 pounds. Like, I've never seen a 6'4 man, 250 pounds run like that. Um, and at the same time, you know, our game, especially as it starts to get colder, as you know, some of you guys will feel like this is cold. For me, this is beautiful. But um, it, it's, it, you, wear, you wear him down. And when you got a guy who can run the ball like that and you can really and truly in the winter style game start to do that, I mean, defenses are going to wear it down. It's just part of the game. So, I mean, it is, it is dope to have that on our team. Offensive line group, you all have been pretty critical of yourselves so yeah. far this year, and you'd given up 20 sacks heading into that game on Monday. Right. No sacks on Monday. What what changed? What went so well? I'm gonna be honest with you. You say the 20 sacks thing. I don't even like. That's the first time I've heard that. Like, I know that's your job to know all that. Like, I care less about that. Not saying I don't care about the sacks, but to know the number. Like, I don't. I just know we have to progress and get better from game to game. Um, I just feel like at the same time in that game, you know. We were going back and forth, punch, 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 score, score. And it was like the thing that I can say is, I mean, we were very level-headed. You know, me getting there and playing beside Roger, like the way I communicate with Roger, I tell him all the time, man, I appreciate you. Because, I mean, for people who don't really know me, I'm not the most talkative. Like, I talk in front of y'all, but I don't speak much. Like, I don't say much at all. Like, you can go in there and ask some of my teammates. They'll say, I mean, Lamb may say 10, 15 words a day, and that's about all. So it's like to be beside Roger and to be able to speak to Roger, it's dope. And it gives me a comforting feeling um, to know that, I mean, if we come up to the line, boom, boom, that's as far as it goes and know we're on the same page. So, Speaking of Roger, um, how much appreciation do you have for a guy like that who kind of seems to be sort of toughing it out, you know, each yeah. and every week with that shoulder? I mean, yeah. Roger's an animal. <laughs> like that, he, He's one of the people, when I think about guys that I played with who were just – physically gifted and just freaks. He comes to mind. Dwayne Brown comes to mind. Brandon Brooks comes to mind. Like, he's in that. He's in that caliber in my mind. You know, people who are so God-given, who will literally, and I know I'm figuratively speaking right now, but will die on the field. Like, he's going to go out there and give you what he can. So to know that I'm playing beside a 
guy like that who's done it for 12, 13 years at a high level, it's like I want to give him my, my best. So it's like I, I, I know, okay, if I can look in Rodgers' eyes and get that approval, I mean, he's played at a high caliber for a long time. Then really that's the only approval that I really look for. Do you credit him then a little bit more with even just having – being able to have that chemistry and create the communication with you guys? Because there's been so many injuries here and there right. and going in and out of games. Like, does he seem to be a rock there? Does so it, we we actually talked about this too. Um, he said it. He was like, Lamb, you know, it's like we were on the same page. And, and for me, really and truly, like, I'm – and I don't got no problem saying this. Like, in my life in general, I don't trust many. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. You know, how I grew up in certain things, like, I have a very tight-knit family. I have a very tight-knit group of friends. So it's like, if, if I don't trust you, it doesn't go far for me, just being quite blunt with you. Um, and I trust Roger near and dear. That's why I say, like, I'm the type of person, if I tell you something, like, I mean it. Like, I don't I'm, – I'm very intentional with how I do things. So it's like, if I tell you I love you, I truly love you. If I tell you I don't like you, it's not going to change. That's just the truth. I'm just being very real with you. So it's like when I'm beside Roger and that communication's happening, I mean, it's it's a beautiful thing because, I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever been out there, but in game day, it goes up and down. But to look in someone's eyes and to know that that's a comforting factor for me, it's huge. You've uh, got good memories, I guess, or not bad memories of the Chiefs, I guess. I mean, what's it like? playing against them, how much knowledge do you gain from your game against them last year? Yeah, I mean, they're they're a phenomenal team. Like, let, let's call it what it is. People can say what they want, that they've been going up and down this year. I don't look at that. What I know is when you go out there and play them, I mean, they've won the Super Bowl as many times they've been there. Like, like they're a championship-caliber team. When you play a championship-caliber team, you're going to get their best every time because, I mean, that's the standard that they've been held to for a long time. So it's like, you know, if, if we want to be one of the better teams, if we want to be looked at as one of the better teams in the AFC, then we got to beat the better teams in the AFC. And if you don't think that we're going to get their best shot, then you're crazy. Like, I know that we're going to get their best shot. That's what it is. Especially when you got Derrick Henry in the backfield, you're going to get everybody's best shot. So it's so like you got to be prepared for that.